Now, a little bit about Jinga's history. She's about 14 years old, and most of those years were spent at a liquor factory in Luanda, Angola. Now, when she arrived at the sanctuary, she, she definitely had symptoms that she was teased by people with food or whatever, just walk, them walking past her. And it might have been with all the people working at that factory. So when she arrived at the sanctuary, I mean, she was really, you know, we were really fearful of her because she was constantly trying to grab the keepers. But she had a tough introduction and eventually she found her spot inside the group. And I do think that she will eventually become the alpha female of the adult group. You know, one story of Jinga that comes to mind is straight off the bat, the day that she got out. I mean, I was petrified of facing Jinga whenever she would, she, you know, if she could possibly escape, that I had to kind of like go up to her and deal with that. And when it happened, I mean, I would try to swallow my fear. I walked up to her, I gave her the right vocalizations, and she did respond to it. And that was really heartwarming. And I was able to walk her straight into the enclosure, the Bonobo Square enclosure, and to safety. Now, if I have to think about Jinga's whole introduction and, you know, how tough it really was for her to get introduced, there's a couple of things that come to mind that, you know, could have caused it to be such a difficult introduction. The one thing is that, you know, she didn't submit quick enough to the males whenever she was introduced. And the, and the other three females, Mini, Gideon and Lika, were already introduced and they got out of the way. And so all of the attention was focused on Jinga. The other theory that's floating around is the fact that, you know, she was in with Zach and she was taunting the males when she was in Bonobo Square. I mean, she was there, she was displaying towards them, she was throwing them with sticks and, and, and stones and whatever she could get her hands on. And so she, you know, th it kind of, you know, chimps can think about that and keep that in reserve. And then on the day of the introduction, they just, you know, they were pretty violent towards it because she was introduced with another male and she was taunting them on a regular basis when she was in Bonobo Square. I think the best thing that could be done when, it, if you're a female and you're being introduced to the males is to submit. And that's one thing that Jinga didn't do straight off. I mean, she was, she, she was standing her ground and being so straight up and, and strong and, you know, and showing the boys that you know, she's tough and she can stand up for herself wasn't the right behavior because they just angered them more. And so they came in one by one and they actually ganged up on her as well to try and beat submission into her. And eventually you saw her submit, but it took quite some time for her to realize that that was the right behavior. What can we expect to see you know, from Jinga's future? I mean, it could be anyone's guess, but I think that Jinga's position will only get stronger inside the adult group. And I think that she will become the alpha female. Mm -hmm.